welcome to the Bill and Kelly Show, coming to you from Wild Rose Brewery in Griffith, Indiana. I'm Bill. And I'm Kelly. And we have some guests with us today, a Marianne and Mark Niner. Um, and they're going to talk to us about a project that they've been involved in called Planting Possibilities. So welcome to our show. Thank you. We're Thanks happy you could us. join us today. And uh, why don't you tell us both, um, first of all, where you came from and how you came to this area, uh, or if you're raised here, we don't know, and uh, then how you came to uh, working on this Planting Possibilities. Okay, well, I grew up in Hammond. And um, I lived in Highland for the years while I was in college. I went to Purdue Calumet at the time. And, um, and then I met Mark at my first job. And we've lived in Munster for 35 years, whatever. And, and uh, so, yeah, we're regionites, like through and through. Perfect. Yeah. West yeah. Indiana Earth. That's right. That's right. And um, the way we st got you know, involved in this to start is that we have a... We have two children. Our 28-year-old son has autism. And he's very high-functioning, but what we saw is through high school, and when, when um, a lot of people with disabilities, when they get out of high school, a lot of them are able to work out in the community and want to work out in the community, but they need just a little bit of help to get them there. And so uh, we visited a, um, a greenhouse in West Chicago, Illinois, that was a commercial greenhouse that was purchased by a group of parents of young adults with autism. And they use it as a training, a job training center. So they, they bought this you know, functioning, operating commercial greenhouse, and they were kind enough to talk to us and tell us about what they do. And we thought, you know what, if they can do it, we can do it too. Absolutely. So that's how we kind of got into that. Mark, where are you from? I mean, you're a regionite too. But... I am. I'm from Highland originally, for 25 years, and then moved to Munster, um, and then we've lived there ever since. Did you go to Highland High School? I did. I went to Highland High School in 1972. 76, baby. Okay. Before we turn this into a Highland High School reunion. Yeah, all right. Fine. Yeah, it was a good school. What are we here for? <laughs> Go Highland. We Always, love Highland. I'm just but. excited when I meet a fellow Trojan. <laughs> Trohan is my Trohan. Yeah, Trohan. Trohan. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> uh, so, so, uh, no, um, how, so this planting possibilities exist now, right? And once you explain to us where where it is now, and what it does now, and okay. um, right. what what programs you uh, we, we applied for our 501c3 in 2011, and we got that. That's with the IRS that we're a registered charity, tax deductible charity. But uh, like my wife Marianne said, she said, you know, we're, we didn't see a lot of help from Burke Rehab uh, when our uh, son was aging out of high school. And we saw some similar like-minded parents that were having the same, same issues. And uh, so we, we thought we should start an organization that can help employment. And we applied to become a voc rehab supply uh, provider. So we are a provider under voc rehab. And that was an extensive, long process. Right. And what voc rehab is, it's an it's a agency that's administered through the state, through every state in the United States. has a, It's vocational rehabilitation, voc rehab. And it's an it's a agency that specifically helps people with disabilities find jobs. So, and they do it through, they, they you know, contract that, that work out to different agencies. So we are one of the agencies in this area that help that do that. And, and they have a very formal process. They, you go through a discovery, you, you ask the client what they want to do, you know, and it might be, they want to be an astronaut. Well, then you kind of go through the checklist. Do you have a bachelor's degree? Do you have, you know, do you have the qualifications? And you quite try to either channel them, you either encourage them, and then Voc Rehab will provide some things that would help them go to college and, and pursue that degree if they're looking for a degree. And if not, if not, if it's a job skill or some other specific job training, right, kind of they'll help them. They'll help them do. It. They yeah. get creative. I, I'm yeah. surprised sometimes. They can get very creative and, and help. Yeah, it's, it's and, and they have a business background, or 
yours is just it's just because it's a passion and you learn how to do what you need to do because you have to. Well, you know what? Raising a, a child with a disability, um, you learn kind of the ins and outs and how things work and what you have to do as a parent. And um, for about eight years or so, I was assistant director of another nonprofit, and I learned a lot about how to advocate, you know, and I learned a lot about how the government agencies work and what works and what doesn't work and what a parent really has to do. Sure. Raising a kid with a disability is not, you can't go on autopilot. Oh, it's, even a regular, right, right. regular yeah, kid. Right, you right. can't. Know, I mean, yeah. Any child this, you know. Right, right. Exactly. But, but you really have to be way more hands-on sure, to, to make sure that your child, you know, is able to use what skills they have. You have to really channel and to learn a what's out them. there to help right. them. Right, right, right. And act as their advocate. That's for right. Everything yeah. that you go through. That's right. So, other, I mean, my profession. I mean, I I worked. I have kind of a niche little job. I'm a track design engineer for a railroad. Okay. And I did that before we had children. And then I retired. I thought when our first child was born. But actually, I went back into it about ten years ago when our daughter went to college and our son was more he has a, a so he drives I mean he's you know he graduated, graduated in the Biana roll from high school and he has an associate's degree in culinary arts and so I mean he's you know he can achieve things yeah he's awesome I, mean, um, I think he's so cool yeah. <laughs> where'd yes. you meet him really yeah. <laughs> he's all over the place but um but still but still there's a lot of things you have to you have to kind of engineer their life for them because they really want themselves. So um, so anyway, I went back to work then, like when my kids were in college, right? I went back into engineering, which is kind of, but now... When I was a general contractor, yeah. um, I have a, we both have construction technology degrees from Purdue. I was a general contractor. I have a master's in business administration from IU. But so I kind of know. I, I think I know what employers are looking for. So, so the way we have to kind of try to satisfy an employer's needs because you really have to be able to do the job. Employers aren't bending over backwards for people. You know, you got to try to conform and, and, and fill the job. So I, I, I think I bring that to the table. I do the day-to-day -day work. I'm executive director, so we do. The, do all the paperwork and all our compliance things and, and uh, supervise with our part-time employee we have a job coach she's an administrative coordinator where she goes out with clients and, and works with the clients at a specific job location in the community so we, we have so that sort of where is this based at now well we kind of have right now we have kind of a two-pronged thing going on. What is our voc rehab thing? But we're based on the Campania Academy campus in Cherville. Okay. And it, uh, Campania Academy, it's a it's a residential facility for, I think, is it all boys or they have girls there too? Yeah, they have people. people of my age would remember it as Boys Town. Exactly. Who's your boys right. Town, exactly. right. Father, yeah, yeah, yeah. Father Campania yeah. yes. and now Monsignor yes. Campania. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So shortly after we, you know, incorporated and started, you know, making ourselves known, um, Companion Academy approached us and said, you know what, we're just, we're entering this new little bit of business here that we're going to house a, a cottage of young men with developmental disabilities. Can you, can we work something out here? We have a classroom, we have a half acre of ground, what can you do? So it was like a match made in heaven. And it was at the right time, and you know, it was one of those things that, you know, things kind of happen and you yeah. go with it. So we have a classroom in there, uh, chart, they have a charter school building there. We have their science classroom there. We have a, uh, a, a educational size greenhouse. Legacy Foundation has been very generous and helped us get our greenhouse up and going. And we have a half acre garden that Mark runs our guard, our horticulture program. And Elena Dwyer, the CEO uh, for Campania Academy, she's been very, yeah. very supportive and, you know, what, what she needs, she's, she's been great. So it's been a great collaboration from that, from that standpoint. Yeah. So. Yeah. so he has classes twice a week and with those and then there's some boys in there that um, are they'll 
looking at an employment track, they, they probably work with me more one-on-one, -on -one. and we we maintain the garden. We do we do maintenance around Campania too. We, we clean the gym and mop the floors, and you know, get into work habits, good work habits. That's yeah, you know. good work habits. That's what it. Training the on basics, what the, the work environment yes. coming to work exactly. on. Exactly. What's expected? Yeah. 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 Yes. Yeah. And right, and the and the, do the things that work that we kind of don't think about too much. You know that a job is, you know, start time isn't a suggestion. It's like when you're really supposed to start. You know, and there's things that work that you maybe don't want to do, but you have to because that's oh, yeah, so. Restaurant right. manager, I cleaned in any a bathroom. Right, you know, right, right. right. So manager. all those basic things that you have to kind of really start with the basics. So. so um, the future, what you see is the, this next step or mm -hmm. next uh, phase. Yeah. yeah, the next phase, if you will, yeah. is uh, well, kind of a next step, and it's based on horticulture, right? Yes. You're, and um, and setting up an environment where they can be trained in how to grow things and and how to take that, and make it into a livelihood. It'll be a um, skill. Well, it'll be a skill they can use all their lives. I mean, yes, to grow a small too, yeah. garden at a place where they're going to live. Construction, right? But I, you know, so some of the things I know, building the greenhouse and things like that, See, were, that was a were easy. Or so, uh, so we got into well, a lot of with the boys at Campania too to kind of grab them as code of food for 14 year old boys, right? They like cheese, so we make a caprese salad with the tomatoes, with the mozzarella and the basil leaves on top, and olive oil. I mean, they they love they like that. They really like. But we that. have a horticulturist that we work and, with. Yeah, Jim Hicks. Okay. He's a Purdue master's degree in horticulture from Purdue. Yeah. So he kind of directs me, and we had a lady volunteer, Chris uh, Everett Esparza. Oh she, yes. She started us out gardener. on a different variety of um, yeah. heirloom tomatoes. Really got my yeah. got me going on those. Yeah. So. yeah. You know, we've learned that there's always there's always somebody out there that knows what you need to know. Oh yeah. You know. So we seek those people out, and and that's worked well. Yeah, sometimes it clicks. And, yeah. And yeah. it's a worth, uh, worthwhile cause too. My goodness. When you um, get your culinary school going, I'm sure you'll get people from you know and, and asparagus coming to teach the guys yeah. some of that. Oh yeah, yeah. So we've made different connections with different people that say, oh yeah, when you're ready, just call. It's just call. And how exciting we want to be them, part of it. The boys there at Companion to get to eat food that they yes. raise themselves. Yes. 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 That's the end product I mean, right there. When we grow the corn in the summer, we take the corn in, put it in the pot, cook it right there, and they they really enjoy it. Harvest time, they just run around the field. It's hard to get them to focus, you know, and all the peppers and everything coming to egg, so egg purple eggplant. They like picking all that. Stuff. So I hear you correctly, part of this is like an event center that you can possibly rent out. Um, yes, like for a, mm -hmm. events, weddings or whatever. Mm -hmm. So Really, you could have like a uh, farm to uh, table yes. type yes. situation. Yes. Yes. It'd be nice to have a big old barn, you know. Somebody yeah. donates yeah, I, a big old yeah. barn yeah. somewhere. Yeah. For somewhere know, in Indiana, they're trying to save guys, the barn. The somebody barns. out there knows somebody. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Or, or we'll yeah. even take the land that the barn is on. Exactly. So, you know. <laughs> right. Better yet. Yeah. yeah. Better Someone yet. wanting to retire from uh, farming, maybe have a back well, you know 25 what? or and something. It's like, talk about leaving a legacy, you know? Absolutely. Absolutely. To know that what you're leaving can yes. help somebody yes. and continue to help somebody That's right. forever. That's right. You know? yeah. Paying it forward, maybe. That's, That's the right. best way to do it. Yeah, yeah some of the things that, um, and I know working for the school district, people don't misunderstand uh, autism and you know there's various different degrees and there's some that have an intelligence level that is beyond anything that you anyone sitting yes. at this table can they may be able to run the books and yep. uh, do yep. it oh, yeah. but socially yes. they're totally that's right disconnected yes. um, and so that it you know it's it's a shame because a lot of times we classify those people and try to isolate them when they could be more functional than than to put them somewhere that we think they should that's go right. yeah. instead that's right. of where they know they should be. Yeah. And mm -hmm. uh, but this type of uh, effort gets them involved and, and gets them to feel involved. And, and you're right. I mean, uh, um, because not doing so, then they suffer the you know possible depression or 
not getting caught up in something right. that That's really right. they don't feel good about. That's right. um, and so this this is absolutely awesome. So um, where do we go for me? Um, so so what do you look as a timeline? If you had to. Ideally, I guess. Ideally, we find land this spring and start putting up our food houses. Yep. <laughs> I like that. with you on that one. That's <laughs> yeah. But that's, I mean, that, you know, and we have been out, we're actively looking for land. Um, and that's a little tricky, too, because and I told you about the, the uh, greenhouse out in West Chicago that the people were so nice as to, you know, and they shared our, their, they've been in business long enough. I think maybe they've been in for more than 10 years now. And and at the time, I think they were only in business for a few years. But, but it was long enough, she says, let me tell you our three big mistakes we made so you don't make them too. And one of them was they bought an old greenhouse. They said, don't do that. You know. but, but one of them was don't be off the beaten path. Be visible. Be somewhere visible. They're so, an industrial park. A nice, yeah. a very nice industrial park, but it's not but they, on... People don't know it's there. That's right. They have to know they're there to go right. look for them. So that's one of our, our qualifiers for a piece of land, is it has to be somewhere where a reasonable amount of people drive by. So that's... And that, you know, kind of leaves out some stuff. But, um... That's yeah. That's it. so you go I mean, there and or somewhere that draws right. in business right. and right. And we're so looking everywhere from you know West Side of Dyer all the way to I sixty five and North and South. And, you know. Now, are you having any fundraisers or anything coming up that people might be interested in? Actually, we're having I, our our big annual event. We have a um, golf outing in August. Wow. We're having a tea party. Because girls don't, as a generality, but most of our golfers are men. So for the ladies, we ha we're having a tea party in May. And May 5th it is. And they can go, anybody can go on our website and find out or email us and say, hey, put me on your mailing list. We have a mailing well, list. The tickets go real fast. They go very oh, We like, sold out last year in two weeks. Oh, my gosh. That's great. And we have it in the Clipper Room at the Hammond Marina. Milan up there is so gracious enough they let us use the space. Nice. And we have a friend, um, Denise Bach, and her and her friends, they put on the tea for us. They do it for non-profit. Yes. Stuff. And I mean, they have, people. you know, a hundred place settings, all this different chat. It's just beautiful. It's just really fun. Yeah. And then we have a, um, we have a geranium sale. And that's the, the day before Mother's Day. So you can come and get your geraniums for your mom or your yeah. whatever, you know, get ready to get your garden going. And then we have a mom sale in the middle of September to get your, to get your fall garden going out. Yeah. 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 So we we kind of hit it one after another. Now do you look for people to help sponsor tables? Or, yes. Yeah. You know, for the mm -hmm. holes at the golf course. Especially yes. Like, you know, golf, yes. Golf for the golf outing. Um, and the tea party. And the tea party. Now, where yeah. do you do the golf outing? Sherwood Golf Course. Sherwood. Okay. Sherwood. Sherwood Golf Course in okay. Sherwood. Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I remember when that was the Sherwood Club. Yes. Yeah. I used yes. to go see Sticks. That's yeah. 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 Uh -huh. The Wild Those Goose. Days when it was uh -huh. like a dollar to go see them on a Friday yeah. night. Yeah. 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 And let's not forget about the fundraiser that just took place. Oh, yeah. Yes. The big fancy what fundraiser. What the hey? The what the hey? Yeah, that right. was very, very fun. It was. Fun. Yeah. It was. People yeah. took a pie in the face for that. Yeah, so the yeah. Cedar Lake, the Knights of Columbus and Cedar Lake. That's where I met your son. That's right. because he had to get the. Oh, okay. He, he had to yes. shaving cream on him, too. He, like yeah, to he, too. he needed to touch that. The texture thing. Yes. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. No, that was an awesome yeah. event. So That was yeah. very fun. Yeah. So, man, I imagine. As we go along, there could be other ideas and Absolutely. other fundraisers. Yes. So, um, well, this is great. So we're looking forward to getting this out, word out for you, and um, and we'll put all the information on our website. And so all um, you guys can yes. know where to go find things yes. and how to get yes. in touch and where to go to donate land and barns and all that. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. land. We need land, barns. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. And if you have, if you know someone who could use 
some kind of services that we provide, please contact us. That's that's why we're out here, you know. Absolutely. To and, and like I said, almost every time after we go somewhere, we, you know, somebody approaches us. Um, Rockapelli, which is a music festival that's held in July, um, and has been in Highland, but it won't be it's in Highland. 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 It's not going to be there this year. It's not going to be there this year. But anyway, it's a music festival started by a local. Actually, he was our neighbor growing up, oh, cool. and the first year he did this, he was 19 years old. And since then, and so that was, I think, six or seven years ago. Since then, Roncapelli has donated almost fifty thousand dollars to us. They raised the money, and yeah. So I'm this young man who grew up with my son. Yeah. You know, and uh, so that's a cool event too. So watch for that. To, you'll see it. That word Roncapelli. Right. Right. And that'll be and how we find out about it. We'll put it up on yeah. our stuff too. Yeah. We'll make sure everybody yeah. knows. Yeah. We'll get the word out. Mm -hmm. Well, I tell you what, this has been great, very informative, and um, and so uh, what we would do, is, if, if you all look, just look through this video, we'll have the information how you could contact these folks, and um, it's exciting, uh, exciting to know that there's something out there for people. And go on their page, like it, get on their mailing list, keep up with things, if you don't do that, keep watching us, and we'll be putting the information up there and letting you all know what's going on. And yeah, so, and like you say, we are on Facebook, so you can like us on Facebook and keep track of what we do through there. That's great. Uh, is there anything else you want to share before we close out the show? Mm -hmm. I think that's about it. Great. Thank you for this opportunity. Well, thank you. Thank we appreciate you coming, coming on and yeah, sharing this it. information. And um, uh, we hope that you uh, find some information on or find some people who are willing great, to contribute. Yeah. And uh, whether it be with the land or just uh, maybe or services, time, services, time. Or time. Yeah. right, right. And I, I take it that you also are looking for volunteers to help out with we, any we of this, do. with yeah. our events. Mm -hmm. Great. Yeah. So keep that in mind, folks. If you are if you looking like for garden. something, if you're a gardener, a master gardener, I mean, master gardeners, I think uh, to keep their certification, they have oh, to be right. involved right. in um, yeah. some type of community service. So. Right. Uh, there's a lot of resources out there. So, well, we'd like to thank you, uh, Marianne and Mark, for coming on the show and, uh, and letting us know about planting possibilities. It's exciting. It, it really you know, is. We are. We and I, I want to emphasize that, interesting enough, Porter County has Opportunity Enterprises. They do. Laporte has Pelican. Is that Paladin what? Paladin. Paladin. Like that. Um, but and Lake County. Half our half our population. Yeah. You know? yeah. And, and uh, oh, <laughs> excitement here at Wild Rose Brewery. Broken, so, broken something. So I, I will get the information out again. We appreciate you coming on. And uh, for all of you, we'd like to wish you a safe week and safe weekend. It's going to get cold, so yeah. stay warm. I'll see you guys in a week. I'll be back. Bill will be doing some shows oh, while yeah. I'm gone. And yeah, let's get out the yeah. violins now. That's Poor right, Kelly. I'll be in Costa Rica all next oh, week. Oh, gee. And what, what did you say the temperature? Temperature is supposed to be 92 the whole week I'm there. <laughs> okay, we'll cut this off right now because people are getting sick out there. Thank you again, and we wish you a safe week and weekend. Goodbye for now. Right, thank you. Friend.